Hello guys, welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. I hope you've all had a good week. Uh, it's been rather slow for me for uh, as far as uh, the collection goes, but I uh, hope, hope, that, hope that this is going to be enough for you. And I thought that I'd also show a couple little variations of some other stuff that's in here as well. So yeah, hope you've all been taking care of yourselves. Hope you've all been relaxing and soaking up the new year. Um, first off, in the box, we have the carded version of the 1976 Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 with the Polizei livery. Yes, it's actually very rare for me to find uh, a full carded Matchbox car, so it's very nice to find a few of these. So here we have front headlights, Volkswagen logo, GTI on the front there. Nice clean white paint job. You have black stripe along the side there. Polizei there, it's a Volkswagen Rabbit. And there's the phone number also, 110. Very nice, you get these hubcap style wheels. Oh, and this is also 33 out of 100. So there you go. First uh, of the new 2021 uh, designed cards. So quick look at the back, you can pause read that if you really, really want to. Uh, yeah, now they're just putting the little logo there, a little bit of that there. Um, yeah, not really much to say about the new the new Matchbox cards, I don't, I prefer the old ones. The old ones looked a lot, a lot cleaner and a lot nicer with the full art of the entire thing. Uh, next up we have a Jeep, and this is the red 1948 Willys Jeep, 76 out of 100. Very, very nice. I like how you get the, uh, the shovel on the side there all painted up. Uh, I think that's the brand for the, the Winch company. I'm not too sure. Not quite worn. Yeah, that's the Winch company, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, no front or rear detailing, clear window, uh, but you do get the side, so very nice. I think that looks very cool. And uh, just have a look on the background, it shows kind of a, uh, a rocky terrain. So maybe that's how they're now doing their, their cars. Uh, yes, this one seems to have a city scape. So there, this is for the city set. This is for your off-road adventure set. And next up we have a Matchbox self-driving bus. Very cool, 28 out of 100. This also is a city set. Very cool. And this is the School of Hard Knocks. I like that. Very cool. Hard to read there. We can get a close-up look on here and have a nice read of the logos. Go Bears! Really cool. And so, yeah, it's a self-driving bus. It's a uh, completely clear, see-through vehicle. You get your doors on the side there, get some gold wheels, that's pretty cool. But yeah, it looks... I don't really know what to say about it. I've never, I've never seen one, so... I think it looks cool. I think the concept of it's pretty cool, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it's just pretty cool, that's all. And up next one, which we're definitely going to add to the collection, as the Chowmobile 2, 24 out of 100, uh, part of the city set, I assume. And this is the Bakery, very cool. Do quite like this. The card art looks pretty cool coming down the highway. And yeah, okay, get a close up of that. Very cool bread box on wheels. Very cool. Empanadas, wow. Gluten chili sourdough. Huh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can uh, you can all read the rest of that, but I think that's really, really cool casting. So I'm going to grab another one of these so I can open one. Hopefully I can uh, find some more carded Hot Wheels cars, uh, Matchbox cars as well, because I don't find them very often. I always find the power grabs. Uh, yeah, because it was a slow week, we still have Oh, okay, how about we do this? I know you can all see that. We still have these cars from last week. And here we have an old Hot Wheels Mazda MX-5 Miata. Very cool, no tampos on this. None that I can see. Uh, metal body, metal base. It's 
So, very cool, 1990 copyright. Very, very cool. And then we have uh, this Dodge. I'm sure it's a Dodge. It looks like a Dodge from the front, so... Uh, I don't know. Hot Wheels Police. You get a light bar on the top there, separate piece, pretty cool. Clear windows, flame police paint job. And yeah, I don't know where this is from, 1989 copyright. So that's what happens when you go to the markets and you just find a whole bunch of random cars for like 50 cents and a dollar. You just buy them, just because they're cool. We'll do one more of these. Oh yeah, Mustang. Nice metallic gold. A little bit beaten up, unfortunately, but yeah, as I said, dirt cheap cars. Can't expect perfect condition on them. And get some nice gold OH5s. Get the uh, GT striping down the side there. Over the, over the bonnet and down the side. Really cool GT badge on the side. Hot wheels. Very cool. Uh, no rear tampos. But yeah, it's a Mustang. You all know what they look like. And the front there actually looks pretty cool with the pony in the middle. Very cool. Uh, 2010 Ford Mustang GT. Alright, chuck that guy down there. Right, now we will open the 64 Corvette Stingray. Really, really cool. One of my all-time favourite cars. And uh, just really cool from the Hot Wheels Race Day series. Ooh, very nice red. Really nice. And I like these old-style wheels. They look really good. And you get the uh, chrome side pipes. Really nice. Quick look at the face. Call that Stingray. And really nice on the front there. Very cool. Get those little dots over there. I assume that that's where your racing number would be put on. And the rear also doesn't have any light markings on there, but because of the design, you can already see it. Just a really, really cool looking car. And very nice to add this one into the Corvette collection. Wow. I could sit there looking at that one all day. All right, we'll grab this one and then we'll open up this one. Uh, we have an Espana uh, coach. So, very cool. Nice big bus. And as it say, Icarus coach. So, yeah, from Spain. Uh, no suspension. Big post in the back. Pretty cool. Just a, uh, just a bus. Just a nice big bus. Throw that guy down there. All right, let's get into this. The Subaru WRX STI. I couldn't remember if I actually opened one of these, but I did have a second one, so we're gonna open it anyway, just to be sure that we did get to have a good look at it. Really nice. I'm pretty sure that we did already open one of these now that I think about it, but yeah. Nice uh, STI on the front, Subaru with the bonnet scoop. And you got your red and black racing stripe over the top there. Uh, no painted headlight details, unfortunately. That would have looked really, really nice. And yes, the side with your racing livery. Very cool. Black uh, paint over the side there into the STI. Looks very cool. And there is no post in the center of this. You get the actual tab in the back. It works as a license plate. Really cool. Quick look at the base. Nice. These, these wheels are really cool on it too. I have to admit. Uh, I, I can feel two more, three more cars here. So we'll grab these and we'll have a look at these. And we have a uh, poor, uh, no, sorry, a Ford GT Concept, I think it's called. A Ford Shelby GR1 Concept. And it's really nice grey, it's kind of like a gunmetal grey. The forward logo on the front there. What does that say? Shelby, possibly. I don't know. I can't quite read that. Uh, we've got some vents on the front there. Looks like it's got pop-up headlights. Looks like it's even got gold wing doors. Really cool. Get your vents out at the front there. And on the back, we have the logo once again and the exhaust pipes. Just a really cool, really cool looking casting, that. And it's in relatively good condition. Uh, up next we have a Lamborghini uh, Lamborghini Murcielago LP 570-4 SV and this is a Motormax. I didn't even notice that until just then. 
Now we get some pretty good details. We get the SV on the side there, that's pretty cool. Some half decent looking wheels. And you get your headlights and your Lamborghini logo on the front there. Really cool. We get to see the engine bay. Yeah, see the V12 in there. Really nice. And we also get the rear lights and a Lamborghini logo. What a cool looking casting. Um, hopefully the, the car shows up a little bit better on your screen. It's really hard to see the detailing on this shiny black, but that looks really, really nice. And the last one in my hand is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. I assume that that's the thing there. Uh, red wheels. What is this? Uh, muscle Tone. Ah, okay. And you get the dragon on the side there as well. Actually looks pretty cool to be honest. You get like a blood splatter along the side there. Very cool. Hey, the rear end looks like a Mustang. I wonder if this was based off a Mustang. You'll have to let me know. It does kind of look like a Mustang. From that angle at least, anyway. Yeah, actually. These are kind of similar. Yeah. Sort of, but not really. Anyway, chuck that guy up there. And this one, I've wanted to open this one up since I found it. I've actually got three of them now, so we are definitely going to open up this one. Uh, really nice Nissan 2017 Nissan GTR R35 from the then and now series. I uh, don't know what the then car is yet. As I said, it's been extremely slow trying to find some new Hot Wheels. Uh, but this is this is a really good one to find, even if it's, even if it is a double. Uh, starting off, we've got the lens headlights, really great. Get the painted grille and the GTR on the front. Extra bit of black paint for the venting. Get black splitter, really nice. Looks really cool. You get your uh, what are they? What would that be? Your hood latches, possibly, or even more venting. Get a little bit of black and silver paint on there, and a cool racing stripe over the top. Hard to see inside, but you can see it is right-hand drive. Very, very cool. Black wheels with a bit of red trim. Oh, they. Well, that one, that one rolled for a while. Just a really, really cool car. And on the back there, we have all of the details. All that you want, the Nissan, the GTR, the head, uh, the rear brake lights with your reverse light in the centers, and a license plate which says Hot Wheels. Really cool, quad exhausts. Just a really, really awesome car. Awesome. And next up, we're going to have to open up the party wagon. Yes, really, really cool. From the Screen Time series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's get into it. All right, this is a, uh, a plastic body with a metal base. And I don't mind that, to be honest. I think it actually still looks very cool the way it's been designed. You get the teeth on the front there. You get the shell of turtles, headlights, uh, indicator lights there. No interior. Now we get these things on the top there. I'm not entirely sure what these are supposed to be. Um, when I was a kid, you could buy a really, really, really big one of these. It would have been possibly the size of this display stand. And you could actually open it up and open up the doors and everything on it. It was one of the coolest things in the world. So having an actual Hot Wheels version of that, uh, that Hot, uh, Ninja Turtles party wagon from back when I was a kid is just awesome. Just really, really cool. And I like how they put the green on the top for the shell and everything. It's a very, very good version of that vehicle. All right, let's get into a few more of these. There's still a few more down here. All right, what do we got? Let's just put those out, out of my hand for a sec. Uh, up here we have a BMW in black. Uh, five, three, what does that say? Nine, five, Zero? Uh, 850? A50i. And this is a Mac toy. So yeah, very cool. This one actually has suspension, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, this one's not a bad looking casting, to be honest. Very, very cool. I just added it to the collection because it was dirt, dirt cheap. Next up, we have a Lotus Evora. Is that what it is? 
Oh, sorry, Europa Special 1972 in nice bright yellow. It's a little bit worse for wear, but I did not have this in my collection, so maybe this will go for a, a restoration and a wheel swap. I do like how it has got, well, originally it had chrome bumpers on the front and on the back. It's a little bit worn off now, but that's okay. It's a front headlight, you get your Lotus badge on the front there. Really cool actually, really cool design. A bit of black paint along the side on your rocker panel. And then try and have a look inside. Right hand drive. And on the back we've got Lotus. You've got your boot latch all painted up, your keyhole, or no, that's another Lotus logo, I think. And yeah, the license plate and the rear lights and everything like that. What a cool, cool casting. So very happy to have that regardless of the actual condition of it. Um, next up we have a, an old police car or a fire chief car or something like that. It's a Corgi Junior Whiz Wheels Mercury Cougar XR7. Very nice. Uh, no suspension in this. You see the original paint color underneath was red. So this could have been a fire chief car or just a red car for something else but it has got some lights on the top there so possibly, possibly for the fire department. So this will have to try and be cleaned up, get rid of all this black paint. I don't even know if that's black paint, that could just be black marker pen. So I'll try and clean that up a little bit. And hopefully you'll be able to see it in the future in a nice restored condition. No opening parts on this, I did think for a second it had opening parts. Alright, where we got that? Alright. Okay, this is the last of the loose cars. Uh, so here we have a Hot Wheels. Uh, this is a Chap Chaparral? 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 20. Uh, sorry for the bad pronunciation of the name, uh, but this is really, really cool casting. And it's one of those, one of those uh, throwbacks to the olden days of the racing where they had the crazy uh, windswept designs and everything like that. It kind of looks like the Ford GT. But yeah, it's just like another company's version of it. Really nice, I do quite like that. I do not know enough about that kind of car to, uh, to say anything, uh, but we'll move on. Here we have a BMW X5, and it's a Sun Toy BMW X3. I've never heard of this brand, but I found it, it was 50 cents. It's got full decos. Oh, there we go, X3 on the back there. All your badge, all your lights, it even has black on the roof rack section. Really cool. Front details look really cool. The kidneys are a little bit low, but other than that, it looks really cool. Nice metallic blue paint. Just really nice. Now we can kind of squeeze this one up here. And here we have, what is this one? A Matchbox Road Dragster. Wow, 1978? 1978 Lesney series, super fast. Wow, that's cool. It's also got some black marker on the front, that, on the top of it there. Old sticker as well by the looks of it. But not too bad condition, still has the window in one piece. Still has the engine attached. Very cool design. And pretty cool on the grill also. One of those really cool looking roadsters. <laughs> it even has a parachute on the back. Awesome. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're getting carried away looking at old cars. All right, we're almost done, we're almost done. Uh, next, we're gonna have a look at the Mars Perseverance Rover. I don't know how many of you guys are as interested in this as I am, but I think this is just a fantastic piece of machinery in real life, being able to go up into space and across Mars and just doing all the things that it does. This to me is just one of those remarkable magic machines that just have no explanation on really how they work and how it all does everything, but just absolute marvel of modern science. Just really, really cool. Just, I would have liked to see a lot, lot more detail painted onto this video, <laughs> to be totally honest with you. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to have one. You've got your camera on the top there, swiveling around, filming all the aliens. 
and uh, yeah keep that one aside because that one's a really cool one um, I just pulled this one out just to show you guys when I was doing my spy races uh, review the other day I noticed that it actually has this little tab on the base obviously I can't show on this one because this one doesn't do it uh, but on the base you could actually slide a little lever and some machine guns would pop out um, well this is the mainline version and it doesn't actually offer that feature you can see that the the black piece down there has no tab of any sort to actually be able to move it they removed the actual feature of the machine guns so I'm just going to open it I'll find another one, let's just open it. So yeah, before you could actually slide, the uh, the exhaust would slide out and the machine guns would pop out of there and there. But this one does not offer that. So very interesting to know that there are actually two variations of the mainline and the uh, themed card series. So yeah, just it was just really, really interesting. So, all right. Last two cars in the box. Uh, I was going to open this. Actually, yeah, we can open it. First thing though, we're going to have a look at this. This is the new Roger Dodger that I found. And as you know, uh, there are some variations on the base. This one says, concentrate and ask again. Um, I will not be opening this, but I think I have all of the variations now. So, we'll start off with number one, or what I just showed you, concentrate and ask again. Very, very cool. Next one was most likely. Next one says, outlook not so good. And second last one says, as I see it, yes. And the fifth one says, reply hazy, try again. So I'm not entirely sure how many actual variations there are of this, but I'm pretty sure that the actual Magic 8 Ball had, I think it was actually eight different sides possibly, or maybe 10 different sides of the dice. I'm not entirely sure. So there could very well be extra variations of these. Um, and the same goes for the Super Treasure Hunt. There is five variations of the Super Treasure Hunt of this. So. Uh, be sure to keep your eyes open for the variations of that. All right, that's it. Now, the reason why I pulled this out is because uh, I have a uh, Hot Wheels version of this one and I wanted to do a little bit of a quick review. So we, here we have the 1970 AMC Rebel Machine and here we have the Hot Wheels version from the Forza series, the AMC Rebel Machine. And this is from the series with all of those cars in there. You can read the back if you want to. Uh, put that off to the side. And yeah, just wanted to do a nice little comparison of these two cars. So give me a second and we will open this one up. I'll try and be... I'll try and be as fast as I can. Trusty, trusty blunt knife. Very hard to fail with this knife. All right, there we go. Don't follow my knife skills as any kind of reference on how you should open up these packages. I use, I use this size knife. It is very, very small, so it fits within my hand very easily and very well. So I have 100% control over the entire knife. So if you are gonna cut stuff open, uh, use the knife how the knife was designed to be used. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Just don't be an idiot when you open stuff with a knife, basically. Um, here we have, this is the Johnny Lightning AMC Rebel Machine. I want to open this up. I really want to see if this opens. Yes! Oh, there we go. Hard to see, but it's blue. Ooh, I didn't know they had blue engines. All right, that's really cool. All right, put that back down. All right, here we have front headlights and the grill and everything painted up or your chrome trim on the front there you get your blinkers you get a license plate which says macacken get a uh, nice gray matte uh, sorry a matte black over gloss black paint job so that's really really nice nice 
uh, chrome trim on the front there also. Authentic steely wheels, very, very cool. A lot of chrome trim around the window here also. You get your door handles painted. And you get, what does that say, Rebel machine I assume? The Rebel, something I can't quite see it. And on the back we have all the details also. Chrome around the window there also. You get your rear brake lights. It's really, really cool. So yeah, what a great looking casting. Let me just uh, flick this around the right way. Oh, again, what was the right way? There's the base for everybody. So yes, now we have a quick look at the Hot Wheels version. This is the premium version, so you get some nice chrome steely wheels with Goodyear tyres. Get some black paint along the bottom, red on the top. I'm just going to ignore the Forza on the side there. We're just going to look at the car as a car, not from the Forza series. On the back, we get the same style of paint and detail. Really, really cool. We do not get the chrome around the window. Uh, we do get the black over the bonnet though, so that that's a nice little touch to add. Also get the front headlights. Really, really cool. It says Rebel on the front of this one. So all in all, I think as a, uh, as a pair of cars, I think they look pretty good. Let's line them up. The auto or the Johnny Lightning is just ever slow, ever so slightly longer. The wheelbase is a little bit different due to the size difference. Front headlights seem to be okay. Once blacked out, once got the chrome. Uh, one has the extra paint on the bottom for the license and indicator markers. Our same style detailing on the front there. Obviously the Johnny Lightning has extra detail on the front. As far as the sides go, I think they're having the steely wheels on both of them actually, it actually makes them look really, really good there. We both get the indicator markers on the side. Very cool. The other markers on the side there. Painted door handles. Uh, get the Rebel or AMC, whatever it says. I can't actually read that because it's so small. And on the back, we also get very similar detailing. I'll do it this way. So, yes, very nice, very nice. And there we go. That's going to bring us to the end of another awesome Mystery Box Monday. Let's move some of these cars out of the way. Get some of that out of the way because I want to put that out of the way too. So I'm going to put these two right there. Alright guys, I thank you all very much for joining me once again. Let me just move all this stuff out of the way so you don't get the, that. We'll go up here, we'll zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic week and until next week, uh, yeah, happy collecting and I will see you all then. Bye.